Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering lesson 10 1 arcs and sectors. The essential question for this lesson is how arcs, length, and sector area related to circumference and area of the circle. The new vocabulary that we will learn this week arc length, central angle, intercepted arc, major arc, minor arc, radian, sector of a circle, and segment of a circle. And you are done with this lesson, you will be able to find the arc length and sector area of a circle and use them to solve problems. Let's see what we will take in this lesson. In example one, we will relate central angles and arc measures. Here is one of the examples that we will be covering in this lesson, how they are related. And we will discuss that the measure of an arc is equal to the measure of its corresponding central angle. The arc is the same as the central angle it intercepts. Then we will relate arc length to circumference. What's the circumference of the circle is what? 2 pi r, exactly. So we will relate the circumference into the arc length. In the following example, which equals n, it's the measurement of the angle over the total length of a circle, the total angle measurement of the circle, which is 360 times the circumference itself, which is 2 pi r. So this is how I find the arc length here. But if I'm using the radian, which is another way to uh, denote the angle, we say that S is equal to theta times r. We will discuss this in details in our lesson, and we will solve many examples to make sure that you understand. Now, here we are applying arc length. What's the length of arc AD here? How will I solve it? I will add, I know that all of them is 360, so I'll add them all and then divide uh, sorry, minus, subtract the sum from 360. Now, he's talking about the length of the arc, so I need to use one of the formulas before. I'm given here what the uh, R, so N, which is the angle that I found, 140 divided by 360 times 2 pi R, which is 4. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Here, another example will be solved in terms of radian to make sure that you know how to implement the arc length in both methods, in radian and degree. An example four will be talking about the sector of a circle. The sector is part of the area of the circle. So I know that the area of the circle is pi r square. What if I need to find this part only, which intercept an arc length or an arc measure 78? To find the sector of the area, the same procedure. I'll do the angle divided by 360, and then I'll multiply it by pi r square, uh, because I'm using part of a circle, as you can see here, pi r square. So the sector of the, uh, the area of the sector is the angle measure over 360 times pi r squared. And like that, this is our lesson that we will be covering and practicing in our lesson. Let's see here, a segment of a circle. A segment of a circle is the part of a circle bounded by an arc and the segment joining its endpoints. What is the area of the shaded region? Now, in this example, we will learn how to find the area of this shaded region, which is the area of a sector minus the area of the triangle uh, inside, which measures 60, 60, 60. It's an equilateral triangle. Again, I hope you understand this lesson 
as you have understood all the lessons before and have a good day.